Welcome to our review on hydraulics. First thing we need to know then is how to calculate our pressure. So pressure in pascals is the force normal to the surface divided by the area of the surface in meters squared. So hopefully from that we can work out that the greater the pressure, the greater the force and increasing the area of the surface will increase the force. To give you an idea of the kind of question we could be asked, I've given you one here. Calculate the force normal to a surface of area 2 times 10 to the minus 4 meters squared if the pressure of the fluid is 3000 pascals. First thing we do, as always with our calculation question, is highlight, underline, circle or jot down the key bits of information so we don't have to keep rereading. Then we need to recall our formula, force is pressure times area substitute in our value so 2 times 10 to the minus 4 times by 3000 and then put that into our calculator to solve it gives us the answer of 0.6 newtons so one key type of machine that we use is a hydraulic machine and this is one that's going to use a liquid to transmit a force and the reason that we can do that is because we can't compress liquids so that's a really important part about how the hydraulic machine actually works. So we could use them in hydraulic lifts or car jacks to allow us to use a small force to lift a heavy object. We could use them in our cars as hydraulic brakes and also hydraulic presses which can crush old cars. An example of the kind of question we could see here. The area of piston A is 40 centimetres squared and the area of piston B is 160 centimetres squared. If you exert a force of 20 newtons on piston A, calculate the force exerted by piston B. First thing we do is we highlight, underline, circle or jot down those key bits of information from our question, which I've done in red so you can see them there. The next thing is we're going to calculate the pressure in the liquid due to A because we've got both a force and an area for that. So pressure is force divided by area, but remember, because it's in centimetres squared, we need to convert to metres squared. So it would be 20 divided by 40 times 10 to the minus 4, which gives us 5,000 pascals. Once we've got that, we can now calculate the force at B, because force is pressure times area, We've now got the pressure because the pressure throughout the system is the same and therefore we've got pressure, we've got the area, again convert it into metres and we can then plug those numbers in. So 5000 times 160 times 10 to the minus 4 gives us 80 newtons as the answer. As always with our calculation, remember to write down each step of your working so that even if something goes wrong at some stage, you should get some marks rather than nothing if you've just written an answer that was wrong. Hopefully at the end of this video you can recall the direction of the force caused by the pressure in fluids. You can use the relationship between the force, pressure and area and you can describe how hydraulic machines work including carrying out calculations using our relationships.